Okay, so it seems you're going pretty much as predicted. Uh, I've got my foot on the um, straight down lift line, so I'm taking a bit of tension off the isotropic mesh part, the, the, the tripod sort of part there, the load pads. And if I pull on the see, more on the right hand side, I can steer right, more on the left hand side, I can steer the kite left. Um, I haven't done any looping yet because it's such a short, close setup, but if you had that wee bit longer, the, the, the uh, lift kite above there, I'll go right. Uh, then, yeah, you could be able to get some sort of effect from that. So, some sort of looping control, right? I've let go of those lines so it should just sit itself. It's working pretty much as expected. The, the upwind line on the tripod, the isotropic mesh load path, is, is tighter, definitely, than the one that dip right off the wind. There we go. But, yeah, it doesn't run far away. It hasn't twisted around any of the lift lines yet because it drops the whole mesh as it goes down. So. I guess if the rest of the mesh was tight, that would be a possibility. Um, yeah. It's certainly staying you know, within a within its distance above me, as constrained by the mesh, as you know, as your physics would say. But uh, it's a very, very rolling wind field. We're right beside a, a house and stuff here today, so right behind it.